Hello you guys, it's Millennial MP. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video with you guys about the tanner stages since I saw that I had quite a bit of trouble when I was doing it and I saw quite a few YouTube videos and I found that the most helpful video was in fact Joanna Asia's video so I wanted to give a shout out to her where I got my idea because I'm not here to copy anybody. Sorry, I just took a shower so my hair's not really doing its thing today. Sorry. So my stages, and this is actually what I used on my um, scratch sheet or my dump sheet, whatever you guys call it. I call it a dump sheet, believe it or not, because I just dump the information on there and then I start wor working on my test. And it's a method that I've used quite a few times for my other boards. So that being said, I came up with my own little way to uh, use the tanner stages. And so like Joanna Asia's, I don't bother with the first or the fifth stage. That just means that you are a child or you are an adult. So you're really only worrying about stage two to four. So that being said, I'm going to give you guys my literal, my little, can you read that? Ooh, let's see here. Yes. Tanner stages, easy to remember. And I wrote it on an index card because I just like I said, I wanted to make this as quick as possible. I didn't want to have to pull up anything. And I mean, I guess I could type it out and then do a screen thing, but then I have to do a screen thing within a screen thing. And I'm not really that great at it. I'm still kind of getting used to this. And so I just figured I, and it's Thanksgiving day and it's getting busy and I'm going to go soon. So I just figured I would write it out here on my index card so that you can see it. So this is cool. My, this is exactly, this is exactly what I wrote. And I mean, I'm going to get in here and I'm like going to say hi. And you know, so boys, so hang on, let me start over here. Boys, ooh, this is backwards. <laughs> All right, boys are <laughs> essentially boys, balls. And then I underlined that G there. So balls grow. And I mean, yeah, this isn't going to be PG or anything, but um, boys balls grow. So stage two means that the scrotum is growing. Stage three means that the penis is getting longer, while stage four means that then it gets its width, its girth is increased, okay? So as little boys start developing and all those nice, wonderful hormones, gonadotropins start really working in there, that is the process that it takes. And so um, if I, I guess I run through it correctly for you guys, um, stage two means that the testicles and the skin around the testicles or the scrotum really begin to get bigger. So that's why I put grow. Um, stage three, like I mentioned, they get longer and I'll start with boys and then I'll move to girls first guys. Um, in stage three, the physical changes become far more obvious. And so in boys, the penis is getting longer. So that's where that L comes in. So grow long wide. So um, after length, we're going to, um, so at that point, the penis and the scrotum get bigger and they get wider. And this is also when you start noticing where boys start, they're, uh, they're dropping their voice. The tone of their voice starts getting deeper and it's more permanent. Also, this is unfortunately where, um, in stage four, where our boys start developing acne. <laughs> so... Um, those are the stages for boys. So now let me go ahead and let me point to girls here. Let me see how this is working. I'm, I know, I apologize. I'm trying. Okay, so girls are going to be breasts, and then I underline the B for bud. So number two, budding is happening in stage two. So let me um, take a look for you here. And so in this point, puberty is starting, and you'll start noticing this type of stuff happening around the ages of 9 to 12 and then the correct average if it comes up on your test I don't think it would is 12 and a half although uh, african-american females will develop sooner so that might be a uh, that might be 11 and a half in fact so the first stages for a young female is going to be the breast start to bud that is the correct term that is what we see for for young females is budding okay um, the next thing that happens for our young ladies in stage three is the first mound occurs okay so that means that our breasts are becoming uh, a little larger so we we develop that first mound and then in the fourth stage for young ladies we get the second mound that's what gives the breast that kind of plump look 
and then as well as that the nipple that is now rising above and sitting on the areola so the second the second mound is far more apparent in phase four so all of these stages talk about puberty in, in pubic hair getting thicker I really didn't bother memorizing the thickness of the hair it would come up but they usually give you something else to measure against when it comes to the tanner stages and so for me on my exam it was a boy and most questions pop up with the either phase two or phase three or phase four you're never really gonna see one or five so I got a stage two and from what I've been hearing from a lot of other people who took the test around the same time stage two really seems to be one of their favorites right now so that popped up quite a bit most importantly to me was the the growth of the of penis and scrotum in the young boys and the breast development in females was definitely this top topic <laughs> top topics okay so that is really the end of my video guys and please check out Joanna Asia's video um, maybe this saying here will work for you I literally wrote it down like this balls grow long wide breasts bud one mound two mound and that's literally what I wrote on my test and as long as you remember those two three four you're your gold um, really one to two questions popped up but Every single question counts on these exams, so this is an easy one. Don't miss it. Okay, so good luck, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have a great turkey day with your families. Take care. Bye.